Today I'm going to talk about why to reconsider NDD and implant removal. I'm Mariela, if you want powerful DNA activations, alchemy and limited expansion through channeling some more, then click like and subscribe to my channel and comment below what you think about this. Well, uh, it has to do with you, the, the, that's the short answer. It has to do only with you, not with uh, whatever is out there. There is every kind of um, things and events and entities and everything can happen in the universe. There are many universes. So um, you align with certain event or person or anything depending on how you feel depending on your energy alignment the removal would be more like a temporary solution it, it, it could be a, a solution but it's temporary and it's not very effective that way i will keep explaining this. If you have entities, it is only because you have given them the permission to, to be attached to you, because you are in the same vibrational place. By thinking about having entities, oh, do I have entities? Maybe I have entities, I'm full of entities, I can't sleep or I can't think or I can't... Uh, then you are giving them the permission um, for them to suck your energy, given that your energy is in a low vibrational place. Those entities too, they are low vibrational entities. It is exactly as when you meet a person who is in your same vibrational um, space. You don't meet a person who is way high vibrational or lower vibrational than you, you meet a person who is more or less in the same space, same with the entities. You give them permission by not being unhappy, by being in a low vibration, by not feeling good about yourself, by feeling insecure, feeling victimized, feeling like uh, you don't have control over your life and that that is the reason that they come to you it is not uh if if you felt powerful and strong then they wouldn't be with you so when you are in the victim mentality the victim consciousness then you put up with a lot of things things keep happening to you as opposed to you are attracting what you want you are attracting what you don't want because you are in the victim mentality that you give your power away to to others whether they are organisms whether they are people or well entities other thing is you may feel powerless you are other thing is you are fearful you are in a fear modality in a fear based um mentality so that happens that happens when you feel that way it is low vibrational and then you attract them and then you, it becomes your dominant thinking if your dominant emotions or fear or lack of trust or feeling bad feeling um, not good feeling anxiety then yes you are going to attract them it's natural you're going to attract that because it's in your vibrational space you are going to attract more than that this is an energy-based universe and you are going to attract the same like attracts like exactly with entities too it is the same so why your spirit doesn't intervene and clear you immediately from those entities um and it's very simple you have free will you have free will to believe whatever you want to believe 
this is only something, this video is only informative. You take what you want, if you, maybe you don't think it's um, valuable for you, and that's fine because you are, you align with whatever you want to align, and that's your free will. Your alignment is, causes you to create your reality. Therefore, therefore, your spirit knows that you have this free will. Your spirit is not really thinking about um, things in terms of good or bad. Your spirit knows that you live in a, in a 3D world right now. And things like this are very common and very uh, essential part of your growth. You are going to meet things that, uh, that they are duality based in a 3D world. So you are going to meet uh, things that are based on polarization, on duality. If, for example, if you feel powerless, then it means, because of this uh, polarization, it means that you really want to be powerful. Whatever is your dominant emotion, if is powerlessness, then the opposite of that is what you really, really want. You want to be powerful. If you feel like you like love, then you really, really want love. So it's all the opposite. And uh, they know that, your spirit know, know this, that is part of, ev not evolving, but it's part of growing and knowing how to master your emotions and then you are going to then you're going to mold your world based on your emotions based on how well you are now dealing with them if you're mastering your emotions then you're going to get a better alignment for you so this is just how it works in, in a 3D world where we're living. Um, your spirit knows that that's part of your experience, so they are not going to intervene. The, your spirit knows that uh, if you want to be disconnected and think that you are powerless, then that's part of how you're going to deal with that. Maybe it takes you a lifetime, maybe you don't solve it this uh, in this lifetime. Maybe you do, maybe you you're, you master your power, you feel more powerful. So that's the reason that they they are not going to do anything. Um, unless you open yourself to feel more powerful and then they help you with making you feel more powerful, aligning you with things that uh, are in that um, vibration, which is which is a healthier vibration. But they won't see it as anything bad. There is no bad, there is no good. There is just experience for them. So if you want to have a perfect life, then align with them. For them, everything is positive, everything is good, everything is happening because uh, you want uh, to deal with those challenges that the 3D world um, in which you are living is full of. Those challenges only make it more interesting for you to choose, for you to try to feel better all the time, to better your thoughts, your emotions, um, therefore your life. That is what happens when you come here. You want that challenge, that uh, those small challenges that then will be huge rewards when you feel better. So when you ask for this kind of healing, this removal or any kind of healing, you are aligned with what you don't want, what, with the lack of what you want. You are aligned with illness, you are not al with powerlessness, you are not aligned with what you want. When you align with what you want, which is health, perfect health, or feeling powerful, feeling that you have control over your environment, then 
you acknowledge that you want that for you, you open the door for more of that to come to you. Your source is going to be with you. Your source is going to... Uh, you, by the way, your source always tries to help you, but sometimes you are resisting because you're focusing on the lack of what you want. Like in this case, powerlessness. So when you ask for these healings, or healing thing in general, the healer will help you at the time, will um, remove whatever needs to be removed, uh, and that's your source working with you and the healer. But, and at that, at that time it's going to feel great, it's going to feel fabulous, you're going to feel, oh, I'm free. But then you're going eventually because you, eventually because your mindset didn't change, you are going to go back to your old mentality and uh, you're going to do whatever you did if you had panic attacks or if you felt powerless or uh, if you didn't have boundaries, you're going to keep doing the same thing. Your mindset didn't go anywhere, it's the same. So the entities are going to come back, you know what I mean? And you're going to go to the healer all the time, you're going uh, for sessions all the time. If you want to effectively heal, in my opinion, you need to focus on whatever you want, not in the lack of it. Because of this, when you ask for healing, you align with lack of well-being. You, however, your brain, all your, the cells of your body, they make miracles, they can do whatever. They transform based on what you say to them. And you're feeding them with negativity, you're feeding them with I feel powerless all the time. Then you are going to manifest that in your life. Your cells are super intelligent. Your brain is a perfect machine that can do anything. Um, so instead of feeding your brain and all your system with that, feed it with the positive intention. I feel better. I feel that I'm gaining more power. I feel more... I feel happier. I feel that I have a better alignment. That my I feel that I I'm dealing better with my emotions every day. So that is going to put you uh, right in a very in a higher vibration. That's going to put you closer to what you want and closer to your source. So there are unlimited realities that are created according to how you feel. It's your decision, what you think is already a decision and if you choose to think that you are ill or that you have uh, entities or whatever, then, um, then you are going to be ill or invite those entities in. Your source knows that you are powerful and that you are perfect, so they they have different opinions with you because you think you are ill. However, they will heal you. They will do that because that matches your belief that you need to be healed or uh, that you need um, to be to have entities removed. Your source will help you during a healing session through whatever is more comfortable for you to believe. Like I said before, your, your DNA is incredibly intelligent. Everything gets stored in your DNA, everything. Everything in your body has uh, receptors. That's why your intention, you should be careful with what you ask for, with, with your intentions. Your intentions are already decisions that you're going to be aligned with and therefore receive. Everything gets stored in your DNA, including other lifetimes. That's why you remember things and you access these Akashic records of and then you spontaneously do things that you really, really like. When you really, really like something in your other lifetimes, then you also like it 
in this one because your DNA gets stored and then you when you are born again then you access that because it's something that is your ability that you already worked on it that you already uh, mastered it then when you do that when you align with the illness you are telling your DNA that is perfect to align with illness therefore your DNA is going to be trained to manifest illness not so good huh? take care of the instructions that you give your DNA you align with better feeling instructions then you are going to have therefore a better life in my case the entities that I am aligned with are angels, are angelic ETs, so that they talk through me, they move my hands, they move my body. So does it mean that I have no boundaries that they do that? No, I choose for them to come to me. And in any case, they are part of my source aspect. It's normal, it's natural that your source aspect talks through you when you're feeling good that it expresses through, through you, that uh, maybe draw or paint beautiful things through you. That is your source doing things through you. Everybody has this ability. And because I feel well about myself, I feel really good about myself, then I attract, and I'm feeling most of the time very happy, then I attract them into my life and I don't attract the entities. It could be that if and when I felt really bad, then I was aligning with entities, um, with dark entities or whatever, but not the case now. So what you can do to become more powerful, and I, by the way, my I have a transmission to master your power and I think it would be great for you. If you want to have entities removed, I would suggest you focus on the opposite, on wanting to feel more powerful. That's more effective than focusing on the entities. And by focusing, I mean thinking, researching, doing, uh, talking about it, that's an intention, that's a decision, that's your focus. Feel powerful little by little, feel in alignment with power every little time. Don't take huge steps because you have already a dominant vibration of not feeling powerful, of feeling powerless. So in order for your brain to deal with it, to accept it, do little steps like at night before you go to bed, do five minutes of talking. That's a little self-hypnosis. So get relaxed, ready for bed when you're feeling a little um, like in that uh, slight trance that feels so good. Tell yourself that you want to feel more powerful, that you that you want to feel better and that tomorrow is going to be a uh, day in which you feel more power, that you feel that you are regaining your, regaining your power, that you are feeling more confident, more secure. Tell yourself that story every night. It's going to help you a lot. Know that you're free to align with whatever you want. So it is going to work better for you if you align with uh, something higher vibrational, with, with some good feeling of happiness, of love, of power. Your inner being is with you all the time, know this. So if you align with them, which is power, align with power, then everything is going to start shifting in that direction. Stop thinking about those entities, stop talking about them. If you know people, a lot of people who talk about that or talk about feeling powerless, stop talking with them until you get your things straight, until you get your um, what you want, until you feel more confident on that. If there is people who are feeling like victims, uh, like uh, the governments are abusive, any kind of 
victim mentality, avoid them. I suggest you do that. It's not gonna help you if you stay in the same vibration, which is very likely because if you're in that vibration, you attract the same kind of people. But, or just leave the conversation, change the conversation, um, leave the group for a moment. That is going to help you better. So why healers choose this modality? And, um, well, because not many of them know how to, how energy works. So not all of them know, they, they practice it, but they, they don't know it. Some of them, some of them because of that their alignment, they are not very well balanced. And, uh, I'm not saying that's a bad thing because they are, not all healers are very high vibrational or they have a strong alignment with their source. Sometimes they are disconnected or, or sometimes they have disconnection as, as sometimes they are, they have, they are not balanced. So that could happen too. Not all healers are balanced because we are all different. We're, we're people. People have different alignments. So they feel maybe also like victims and they have healing abilities, whatever. And I'm not saying that's uh, a bad thing. It's just a different thing that I practice. I don't practice that. That's not my alignment. Because we're so diverse, it's good that there are different type of alignments because not Everyone is going to resonate with what I say, with my alignment. I am balanced and I am in a very high vibration. And other people, this is going to feel nonsense. My energy is not going to be compatible with them because they might be in a very low vibration. Not everyone is aligned with every healer. So there has to be different alignments because there are different people, different everything, so that they can choose. They have, there has to be variety in alignment. Not everybody has to be balanced, but I choose to. And I definitely focus on power because, well, I'm team Metatron. So yes, that is, Metatron is a very powerful angel and he, he they are my guides. So, yes. So what I do is I activate. Many people tell me, oh, your healings, your healings. I, in the beginning, when I was, um, when I was not as aware as I am now, I focused on healings. But now, because I know how energy works very well, I focus only on activations, which is going to expand you. It's a very powerful and high vibrational intention to expand. I focus on that only. That is to be also in alignment with your source. Your source uh, thinks only about expansion. They see you powerful. They don't see you like a victim. They don't see you like suffering. They see your highest vibration, they see your highest uh, timeline, your best timeline available. So that's what I do. I, I prefer to see you powerful like your source. I want to see you... I want to see you as a powerful creator that you are. And I'm not, not going to side with uh, people wanting healings because of that, because I, I acknowledge that you are powerful and I acknowledge that you are as powerful as me or as powerful as any other can be. I don't, I don't acknowledge, um, luck. I am aligned with my source and with your source. I hope this helped someone and if you, felt clarity with this video then like and subscribe bye bye